Okay, we're gonna try virtual desktop this time. So I did immersion. I gotta be out here by eleven fifteen or so. Let's minimize that. Okay, it's different. You don't get the keyboard, unfortunately. But I'm in a nice virtual area now. So you can see my little environment. Oh, there's my X today. <laughs> my desktop icons. Um, so virtual desktop gives you a different resolution. Um, let's see if I can find my keyboard and mouse here and do some investigating. So it changes resolution to Windows 11 is different. Upgrade recently. Uh, 1460 by 1440, so it should be 3440 by 1440. But I don't know how to change that right now. Don't want to. This is monitor one, monitor two is my left, it's not being displayed. Okay, so I've closed that. Let's go to so you're doing. We're gonna see if this looks better or not. I've asked the developer to um, add a pass-through area, like Immersion has, for keyboard and mouse area. Uh, you can look into it, but this looks really good. I, it really does. It's pretty awesome, I think. Um, so let's go to, oh god, muscle memory here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, that's all I want to do. So you can see, even pushing it once, it's on the SSD, and it's it want to blow it up. See, first, which was instant. Maybe it decreased the number. Maybe make different launch box packages based on content. Say, I want to have all the Sierra develop uh, dynamics and so forth. The Sierra family games, right? Um, or break up all these on the side here to be of their own. So it loads faster. I don't know. That might be the case. I haven't tried that yet. But anyways, I want to play Pixel Perfect. I want to see how it looks like. It's going to be, uh, yes, full screen here. Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm looking at my nose piece so I can see. See the audio this time. Curious. So, as you can see, I'm in my theater playing Crondor. <laughs> I call it Crondor. Enjoy Crondor. Just locked in. Start the game. It's fine. It's good. As we'll see in the other video pops up how this quality appears. Compare text to. And see how the audio quality is. Another option would be to cast this to my second monitor and then have GeForce now record that monitor while I play. I'm not sure if it's better that way or not. Last time I was going to get spots. It's hard to get steel hole bottom of the screen. This is, uh, this is great back in the day. I love this game. This still a great game. I read the books too. I read almost all the books. Near the end there, I stopped reading. You see the graphics, you know. Scanlines are very pronounced. So, yeah. There's that. Okay, and let's just a uh, quick thing. Let's go to um, back to Excel there. Oh yeah, I'm curious how it looks. So we're hundred percent down there. To better, worse, I have no idea. I can work this way, no problem. The problem is you only pass through, and. Um, yeah.
population of certain things, Manitoba is where I live. Um, yeah, it's increasing substantially. We're just uh, thinking about my city and how it's not adapting well to increasing population of immigration. So we need more schools, more teachers, more EAs, and so forth. Common problem everywhere. But uh, I'm just trying to do some research, trying to talk to the school division and maybe the city about those problems. That's it. It's funny. Mouse is back in there. Let's look at a magazine. Oh, close that. See how it looks on there. Adventure, that looks cool. I wish it opened in Launchbox. And it was like set to one page view or something. No, that'd be cool. That'd be a like, better way to do it. But Dark Forces threaten the galaxy. Great game. Oh yeah. TIE Fighter, I love that series. I guess we'll see in a picture in the video how this looks, but I think this looks pretty good here. It's very, very like readable. Very high quality. It's like I'm reading it on my computer screen. We're wearing a headset. Again, if you had to wear this and then you had a laptop with you, you could have a portable gaming rig. A laptop is not much fun, but on a headset, as you can see, I'm showing you two ways. Now, in this uh, setup, virtual desktop, it runs games much better. So, curious to see if how that works. Let's go here. I haven't played BG3 for a couple days. Uh, there you are. I'm curious to know how it looks in here. It's a great game. Super great game. Larian Studios. Super good developer. Amazing. Oh, that looks nice. Holy shit. So we're going to swore. I'm going to demonetize on YouTube now. <laughs> uh, that looks good. Wow. Damn. Imagine I'm a feeder. Like this, and you have your drinks on the side down there. And you can have your keyboard and mouse. Hit something there. Wow. Frame rates are awesome. I think they are, at least. Whoa. <laughs> cool. Shake my head there. Hmm. And <laughs> see how it looks like compared to this. But yeah, this is a great game. Doesn't look that good in pictures, but it's damn close. Can you imagine that in a virtual environment where you're in VR, you walk into that and you're just in that environment looking around? They could. Imagine a BG3 with VR support. Each character is played by a person with a VR headset. You know, like LAN party style. And each person is controlled by them, and then each person can see first person, first person perspective outside into the world. That would be incredibly immersive. Right? Oh, yeah, frame rate's solid. Is dead. Well, all you want. We've got enough to do it well. We don't need your kind. Yeah, nothing I can do right now, but um, just having some fun with this. Oh. Refugees. Outsiders. Just give me a save. Let's get some fun with this real quick. Let's do Brutal Leap. Oh, that sounds good to me. Well, that didn't work. Maybe you pick down something. Let's bomb everybody. <laughs> I 
Did I do that? Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, my, my bad. Oh, I'm very sorry. Cutting to the chest. Oh, look at that damage it did to him. Let's get right in there. Oh. Frame rate is a bit lower. Um, that's how I expect, I guess. Toasty. I'm just going crazy here because why would I care really? I'm just playing. Oh yeah. See any text down there? Giving you a quick view of the game environment. Again, a laptop. Good gaming laptop on the road. You can play your games. Alright. Let's have some fun with it. Um this guy's probably too big, I can't get him. I'm mobilized. Oh, Jesus. Anyways. I can shoot people. Like three shots. That's handy. Well, it's not a BG3 video, so. Let's have no fun with that. And they're showing different things. Um, so there you go. I can increase the quality. This is a MetaQuest developer hub, but I need to have it hooked up uh, through a USB C cable, and I don't want to bother doing that. You can get 40 megabits and higher frame, higher uh, resolution, like 1440p and 4K, but it's not really set up for gaming. That really hurts the performance of the game, and then you can't get a good frame rate and do well. So it's not really worth doing that. Um, here's the last video I just did real quick. Let's pop it up here real quick. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'm just going to do a quick test. Recording. That's my uh, CR art up there. <laughs> Jim Ferguson. Uh, done real good. Bunch of drawings up there. King's Quest up there. My Quest for Glory 2 map fell down, but I gotta put it back up. Space Quest, Quest for Glory. Cool. Uh, I'd rather get these done a bit better, but I bought these frames pretty cheap at Michael's. There you go. Alrighty. All done, I guess. Let's uh, finish recording. Can I do this on this finger? Oh, I'm in here. So we're gonna quit. Which that's not. Back in here, and we're going to quit recording.